some data into uh, active report which gives uh, better interactivity and then uh, they can combine it with the uh, existing traditional commerce reports. Then uh, from the integration to the uh, customization part. So when we deploy Cognos workspace into the uh, organization, so one of the key requirement that comes is the customization of that workspace for the look and feel of the uh, organization standards. So you can actually skin the Cognos workspace, user can customize the user interface by replacing the text and logo. So Cognos comes with the uh, uh, new skinning utility. So using that you can easily customize the uh, workspace layout and images and uh, details that uh, are available. You can change the colors of the menus. You can customize the getting started page buttons and labels. So you can actually customize your workspace to uh, more suitable to a particular organization theme or you can uh, create uh, multiple themes for a particular group of users like you can customize it for a different department or different kind of a dashboard for a different department. So basic tricks behind doing this is we need a mapping table between default colors and target colors where we will match the existing layout to a new layout. As well as it helps you to follow the same design principle to keep the UI clean. So one of the requirement of a dashboard is dashboard should be clean enough and contextual enough to get the data. So these colors are consistent with the corporate colors and also help the simplify the colors used for the scheme. So uh, coloring will be uh, significantly improved uh, when we try to branding. So whatever colors are available for the branding purpose, you can actually relate it with the uh, all other themes and then you can always create your own theme for the dashboards. So branding is one of the uh, interesting feature which uh, can uh, users can implement into their environment to completely customize the dashboard so they can uh, give the feel to the users that they are working on the same application that they are working so you can customize the workspace uh, with the same thing of a particular portal or a particular uh, uh, website of a particular organization. Then uh, some of the performance recommendations so when we try to implement uh, uh, Cognos workspace uh, some of the performance uh, optimization steps can be always uh, rely on the upgrade to modern browsers because Business Insight or Cognos Codespace are based on the uh, RIA, capa RIA capability which is this internet client application so which uh, will significantly improve the modern browsers. So uh, users should uh, uh, get uh, upgraded to the latest browser like Internet Explorer 9 or 10 or Firefox 10 or uh, uh, latest version of Firefox or latest version of Google Chrome that will definitely give the better experience compared to the uh, old uh, browsers. Browser compatibility is the one of the uh, key uh, concern that is faced by the organization. So while upgrading the browsers, make sure that whenever you are deploying Cognos workspace, make sure that organization will upgrade their browser so that their user will get more uh, improved performance. As well as uh, while configuring the gateway, uh, if you want to get the better performance, uh, always make sure that we configure the uh, ISAPI gateway rather than a CGI gateway. So uh, for uh, if we have a large usage of uh, Cognos workspace, always make sure that you use uh, ISAP gateway while uh, while using with the uh, uh, IIS compared to the CJ. Then uh, some of the uh, proven practices from the field. So uh, I am sure that uh, people who are more into the designing and the uh, report development and the workspace may be already aware or already implementing those uh, features for. Other, these are the few proven practices when we work with the dashboard, when we create the dashboard. The first thing is focus on customer. So you should always consider who is our customer and then design the dashboard in that sense. That will really help us to decide what, what should be the design, what should be the context, what should be the content that we want to add on a particular dashboard. As well as it allows us to focus on a particular area rather than empowering them with the a bunch of information. Based on the users, we can design our dashboard to give the right information to a particular user. So identifying user is the first requirement for designing a better dashboard. Then second thing is using of saved output and views. So Cognos allows you to take a saved, view, saved output of a view of a particular report. So when we interact with the dashboard, you can always use the saved output of a version so that uh, it, will re it will avoid the uh, need of uh, running the report every time user uh, loads the uh, 
uh, uh, dashboard. So if you have a report like last month performance or a yearly performance for a last year, uh, that kind of a report, we can always take a view which uh, generally do not uh, get updated frequently. And then we can use uh, multiple versions from a dashboard so that that performance really significantly uh, improved because that will avoid the uh, interaction with the server. As well as the third thing is atomic level uh, reports are a purpose built part. So when we try to drag the uh, content uh, based on the existing report to workspace, it's always uh, preferable to design the atomic level uh, reports. So we can bring in the data from uh, a particular report to the dashboard that basically help us to maintain the uh, uh, the dashboard application altogether. So whenever we have some changes, instead of making changes to a uh, particular uh, uh, instead of making the changes to a particular report, a, a complete a large report, we can always uh, change the uh, small part of a uh, report as well as uh, always whenever you create a uh, specific report specially for the dashboards, make sure that you remove the headers and footers because when we try to drag the content to uh, Cognos Workspace, it comes along with the header and footer. By default, it will come with the date and a uh, page number uh, marker. So that, that may uh, confuse the end user for the while dragging to the uh, workspace. So make sure that we remove header and footer. As well as uh, most important thing is when we uh, try to create a visualization or when we try to bring in the list or a uh, cross tab kind of visualization into workspace, make sure that we name them uh, into the uh, report itself so that a, a user will not get confused with the names like list one or list two. Uh, interactions like uh, names, uh, the, we should have the correct and contextual names so whenever we expand the particular report, we can actually drag the uh, exact uh, uh, context to the dashboard. User need not to uh, go and search about which context should be passed. So uh, I am sure that people who are working with Cognos Workspace are uh, already seen uh, some of these challenges when we have a single report with multiple report objects and when we have uh, names like combination chart one, combination chart two, or a watch one, bullet one. So it's typically uh, create confusion while which uh, which chart actually should I choose for a, a particular dashboard. So uh, proper naming and uh, uh, naming of the charts or a list is one of the important feature that a user need to. Uh,